Hello, welcome back to another episode of Slap Talk. One reason why I use a service of CGC or CPCS occasionally is to slap a book that I want to sell that I think is difficult for me and or the buyer to agree on the grade. Okay, uh, this is not an expensive book. This is just an example. I would never slap this book because I don't think it's worth slapping regardless uh, of what the grade is unless it is maybe a 9.8 okay but here's a beautiful copy of Aquaman issue 49 with the gorgeous Nick Cardi cover I will show the interior of this book one of these days when I do a spotlight on Jim Aparo one of the few very underrated artists of the early Bronx age but here's a beautiful copy okay the front of this book Look like an easy nine, nine two. And here is where the problem is. Hopefully, it will show. You can see the production slight tears all around this edge here. You see that? Okay. So this will be a, a big issues. Uh, for many graders, you know, even the pros, you know, I would give this an 8.0, okay, based on that production flaw. That's my grade. But assume that this is a, a, an expensive, high value key, it would be so uh, difficult to try to sell this raw and trying to convince the buyer that even with a production flaw like this, the appropriate grade is 8.0. I'm not saying that CGC will give this an 8.0. That's just my opinion. Um, maybe one of these days I will submit this book just for the heck of it and find out what is the grade, okay? But this, this is just an example of why sometimes it's easier to slap the book and not have to deal with uh, figuring out what's the appropriate grade for this. Just let the pros uh, slap it and then they can and then the buyer can you know either agree <laughs> or not agree I don't have to deal with it so that's an example right there okay here's another example of a hard book to grade I pulled this book out of my forgotten box a few months ago um, there's some damages right here not this is not moisture damage this is just you know storage damage from a book that has been stored for years, if not decade, um, without bags and board. Okay, it's not a bad looking book, as you can see. Sure, there are, the worst part is the yellow tanning of the cover, okay? But there's no, there's some light creases here, but it's no really tears. From this, you know, can this be a 6.0? Yes, but here's the problem. Okay, the back, not so nice. There are some storage creases here. Okay, so once again, this is just dirty, not water moisture. Okay, look at that, see? There's a long two inch crease right there. And then of course the yellowing and browning. Okay, here's where the issue is. Let's look at this staple, okay? It looks fine right here. The cover is still attached. Okay, still attach barely on a stop staple because there are a tear. Hopefully, I can flip the page. There you go. So as you can see, the front part of the cover is still barely attached there. So, so how would you grade this book? Okay, how would CCC grade this book? Even the back cover, you see that? It's starting to pop. So both covers are barely attaching at both tops and bottom staple, okay? So now with the issue, what would this book be? A 3.0? A 
So um, imagine, you know, not that this book is worth slapping at this grade. I don't think it is. Uh, and not that I will uh, submit this book either. It's a cool book to have, but if this was, say, a copy of Amazing Fantasy 15 with the flaws at the staple, as I mentioned, it would be incredibly hard to try to sell a book with that kind of flaw raw and trying to convince the buyer that this is the right grade. It's easier to submit to CGC or CBCS and let them deal with it and sell the book in the slab. And that's it. That's the end for this episode of Slap Talk. Thanks for watching.